Well, I am out there making it another great day, and it's a great morning, and I found a place called the Country Skillet, another mom and pop type place. We're gonna go in here and try this out for breakfast. And um, I just been kinda going to some mom and pop places and um, wanna go in here and try this out. And this does sound like a place that uh, you might see in Tennessee or something up in Gatlinburg with a name like Country Skillet. You wouldn't think you would find something like that here in Florida. But um, it got to me to remembering things I did in my past. I want to talk a little bit about a little more about me, tell you a little bit more about myself uh, that you may not know later on in this video. And uh, let's go in and check this out. That's coming at you right now. And I am outside the Country Skillet, a family run business. They've been open about an hour. There's quite a few cars in the parking lot. It's a little small family country restaurant. We're gonna go in and get a breakfast. This time I have opted not to sit at the at the counter. Everybody seems to be sitting at the counter at this place. Uh, quite a few people at the counter. Uh, pretty big, pretty big restaurant. And. Uh, Hopefully they'll wait on me here soon. Well, here we are with another menu, the Country Skillet Restaurant since 1979. And I see they have shrimp and grits. They have a potato pancake down here, corned beef hash, country fried steak, lots of cool stuff for breakfast. And once again, an extensive, extensive menu. I think I have decided on the Deuces Wild. It's a choice of two eggs, any style with Two fluffy pancakes or a vanilla custard French toast, uh, cherry wood smoked bacon strips, and two sausage links served with warm syrup. Well, my food has arrived, and these are some pretty good sized pancakes here. I can't wait to dive in this. It smells really good. And uh, some, some bacon, and a couple eggs, and some sausage, and some nice warm syrup. I have poured the syrup on here. This is definitely uh, the down-home type of meal that I do enjoy, especially when I go on a trip or something. But uh, to be able to do this locally is pretty nice. Well, that was the Country Skillet Restaurant here in uh, Clearwater. And uh, I'm going to head to the car now. Well, I am in the car now. And that was a very good breakfast. It was very reasonably priced. Uh, food came out really fast. Um, like to go to these little places like this, little mom and pops places. You get really good food and uh, some of the prices at some of the other like national chains are a lot more expensive than this. So uh, that was like, I think come to like $10 and some change, all that. Uh, I got a milk with it. Uh, I left her a, you know, a tip. So uh, that was very, very well worth it. Um, thinking of these mom and pop things this week has got me thinking of, you know, maybe I should tell a little bit more about myself. I, uh, when I was very, very little, I started uh, when I was four or five years old. I was my dad was very heavily big into bluegrass music. Uh, we was going to bluegrass festivals on the weekends and stuff. I remember seeing Ricky Skaggs when he was 15, 16 years old up on the stage. Um, and then later on, um, through, uh, after graduating college and stuff and with art and stuff, I, I, I worked on the newspaper, uh, at the college. I was photo editor. I was advertising manager. I did so many things. Um, and, and back at that time, my mom, she was kind of a hobnobbing with, uh, famous people's relatives, uh, my mom, she uh, she used to run around with a, a, a woman named Fleedra, and she was Fleedra was Tom T. Hall's sister, and uh, I don't know if you know who t if anybody knows who Tom T. Hall is. Tom T. Hall wrote a song called Harper Valley PTA, which Barbara Eden starred in that movie, and then they made a TV series out of it. Um, but Tom T. Hall was from our area, and my mom used to run around with his sister Fleedra. They was very good friends. 
My mom was very good friends with Dorothy Skaggs. Uh, her son is Ricky Skaggs. And uh, I remember later, years later, back in the 90s, uh, used, uh, hanging out with Ricky uh, back at the back on the backstage at the Grand Ole Opry and um, uh, hanging out with him and uh, uh, different Opry members. I used to talk to him on the phone. I was hanging out with bluegrass people um, because, uh, well, I, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but um uh, uh, my mom's other friend um, uh, was uh, a woman whose husband played. He was a pitcher for Cincinnati Reds, Don Gullick. He's in the Hall of Fame. Uh, so we would go out to their house sometimes. And uh, uh, but she was on my mom's bowling league. So my mom was kind of hobnobbing with all these little uh, people. Um, and in the early 90s, I ended up started helping a uh, bluegrass DJ. And she was five-time winner, uh, bluegrass DJ of the year nationwide out of Nashville. Her name was Judy Masters. I still talk to Judy. Uh, Judy's getting up there in years. But I uh, met a lot of famous bluegrass legends because of Judy. Um, it was pretty odd that when I show up at a bluegrass show and Ralph Stanley knew who I was, uh, Larry Sparks knew who I was. Larry Sparks was Ralph Stanley's first lead singer. He drug me up on stage one night and had me talk. Because uh, Larry had uh, broke his uh, um, strings on his guitar, and he was like, "Get up here!" I, I, I don't want not very really ready to kill Larry. Uh, but uh, uh, some interesting times, and uh, that's uh, at that time I was running. We was running around with Allison Krauss. I um, I did stage lights for her show. We was hanging out at Denny's in Lexington, Kentucky, um, and she's a member of Opry now. Um, but during that time, I was hobnobbing kind of with the, the bluegrass crowd, the bluegrass legends, um, and some of the country music artists. I was calling, uh, I was ta uh, came friends with uh, Allison Krauss's record label, uh, uh, the president of her record label, and he was getting ideas for other artists that he had on the Opry, which were bluegrass, which was Jim and Jesse, and um, I, I remember calling Jim and Jesse at home. Uh, you could just pick up the phone and call these bluegrass artists. I remember calling Ralph Stanley numerous times at, at his house. Ralph handled all his own personal appearances and stuff. Um, gosh, there's just so many things that I did. And that was right before I started helping at that time. I was doing the bluegrass and we was on the radio. We had a syndicated radio show nationwide on 120 stations and, um, we was pretty well known, uh, uh, of course, Judy's son, he played banjo for Larry Sparks. Larry Sparks was, I was getting ready to say, Larry Sparks was uh, Ralph Stanley's first lead singer after his brother Carter passed away back in the 60s. But, um, of course, Ralph passed away a few years ago. Um, and I kind of got, uh, I was doing all the bluegrass, and then I started helping a local artist, Billy Ray Cyrus. And um, at that time, uh, he was an unknown artist and stuff. Billy was always nice to me. I hadn't talked to Billy in years. Um, but that was through my association to the oil company that I worked at at the time doing video production. And uh, from there, that's when I met Sonny Schroyer. And um, uh, back in 1992, I met Sonny Schroyer, and I've been working with him ever since. And uh, I do talk to him once a week, at least once a week. And I kind of got... Um, uh, there might be a week go by and I don't call him and I feel kind of bad about it. And he will call me and ask me if I'm okay. And I, I remember when I went, the video with, that I did at his house, um, me and him went out to eat and, uh, I felt really bad because he's getting ready to get out of the car. And he said, you need to call me more often. And I really, really kind of got me, uh, when he said that and he kind of expects to hear from me every week and, and, and and I don't mean to uh, take him for granted or anything like that, but I, I'm just doing all kinds of different things and stuff. And and, and now I'm getting ready to work with uh, work on a website for Tom Sermento. He was lead lead car builder on Dukes of Hazard. Of course, he was did stunts on Fall Guy, A Team. Uh, he, he even told me he built the uh, uh, truck on BJ and the Bear and. I, Tom is an incredible individual, and me and him talked on the phone for three or four hours. Um, haven't seen Tom in person for maybe a little over 10 years or at least. 
uh, when we did some shows together and stuff with him, and I was helping Sonny. But uh, Tom's a good guy. He's just recovering from, from open heart surgery and stuff. He lives up in North Carolina. So I've been helping him, and, of course, I've been helping Chris Hensel, who's Jeb Stewart Duke, and, and Chris, very proud of Chris. He's, he's got a movie called uh, Salvage Yard Shine Boys. He's getting ready to cast for that. So we're going to try to shoot that movie, film. Uh, it's not going to be shot on video. It's, it's going to be a, a full-length motion picture. And we have, I can't name some of the names of uh, the country at artists that are going to be involved in some of the actors. I know Sonny Schroer is being cast in a role. We're casting him in a role. Um, I got to get on, on the horn and come up with a logo title for this, this movie, Salvage Yard Shine Boys. So I've got that on the plate, and I go out here and do these videos. I probably left out somebody down the line. Uh, gosh, I... Uh, so many different people uh, I've been associated with over the past, I don't know how many years. And it's always been fun um, to do. And uh, uh, I remember Alicia Silverstone emailed me once, and I had no clue who she was. Uh, of course, this was before she got famous, and she did a movie with Sonny. And then years later, I was like, oh, I, that's who that is. <laughs> uh, of course, she's not been doing anything lately, but... Uh, uh, and Butch Patrick from the from the Munsters, he's helped me out. He um, he got an appearance for me for Sonny that he couldn't do, and he, he him and Sonny's good friends, and and um, he was in town here recently. I was going to go see him, but but um, I thought, well, you know, he's he's going to have all these people lined up and stuff, and I I uh, I won't go, and uh, of course I had to work too. So I, I work full time and I work overnights, and it's kind of rough. And sorry for this being a little long, but. Um, just a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't know and I could talk about. I mean, I've got a whole list of famous people that I've either been associated working with on projects uh, down the line. And if it hadn't been for Sonny Schroer at that point, uh, I wouldn't be friends with all the cast of Dukes of Hazard and um, uh, the crew, stunt guys, Corey Eubanks. Uh, Corey's helped me out. He's helped me out. I was like, called him up. I said, Corey, I need a, I need a guest, man. And he said, sure, I'll do it, you know. And uh, Corey Eubanks is Bob Eubanks' son. He, he, he uh, the game show host. Uh, I wouldn't want Corey's job. I, always, I told Corey, I said, I wouldn't want your job, man, getting set on fire and stuff. And, and um, he did all the Fast and Furious films. And uh, very proud of Corey of, of what he's accomplished and what he does. Very, uh, very, have a lot of respect for what he does. Uh, he does the Transform. He's did all the Transformers movies, stunts in those and uh, like I said, the Fast and Furious. Uh, he has right now. There's some politics, Hollywood politics going on. And he didn't get some credits in the in the um, Fast and Furious films. And I'd be furious too, uh, not to get a credit. Uh, but I, I could talk and talk and talk about my friends from Dukes, from stunts to country music to bluegrass. Uh, just overwhelming uh, uh, the fountain of people that I've worked with, been associated with helped out uh, over the years. And uh, like I said, it's all been fun. I've did a little bit, just about everything uh, in broadcast TV as well. Uh, I'm long-winded. I'm, 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 I'm full. This was a great place to come. Uh, we're going to go check more of these places out and um, keep hitting that subscribe button. Go out there, make it a great day because you deserve it.